What's up guys, this is Sim with Ventures and I'm back here with another Madden NFL 17 Detroit Lions franchise and today your 1-0 Detroit Lions are at home at Ford Field taking on Marcus Mariota, DeMarco Murray and Delaney Walker. Man, they got a loaded offense this year. Their offense may be one of the, I wouldn't say one of the best, but they're definitely making improvements on the offensive side of the ball uh, and then we are taking on the Tennessee Titans. Uh, like I said, big offensive improvement from last year. Obviously, Mariota has potential to be a superstar in this league. Uh, if it wasn't for all the injury problems that he had last year, I think he may have won Rookie of the Year. It's hard to tell, obviously, with all the stuff that happened on last year. But you see, uh, Jones is going to be out. Marvin Jones is going to be out for six weeks with a ruptured disc. Yikes. Remember that injury he suffered last week against the Colts. That's going to sit him for like a month and a half. Uh, so that's not good. We're missing our number two target. Uh, but we still have some pretty good receivers. I'm not going to lie. We have Ebron. We have um, Golden Tate. We still have Anquan Bolden. And we have, <laughs> you know, a lot of – we still have practice squad guys. We can still always get, like, another player from free agency as well in case something does really crazy happen. Um, but we are going to split time between Riddick and Abdullah because – uh, you guys were saying that Abdullah is the man, you know. You got to try out Abdullah. And I saw his attributes. And I'm like, okay, let's give him a shot. I saw, like, obviously his first ever carry ended up being a crazy touchdown. But, I mean, let's face it. We don't know how he's actually going to turn out. Uh, so we're trying to take it slow and easy with these guys, these younger guys especially, because we don't know how they're going to turn out. You see all those stats from week one. The 49ers are the only team in the NFL without a point so far. And the Rams are the only team in the NFL that haven't given up a point. So, anyway, we're, we're going to get underway here at week number two against the Tennessee Titans here at home. Like I said, this is a very uh, much improved offense at Tennessee. And this team could be very dangerous this season. They may sneak in and win the AFC South. Bold prediction this year. Uh, but I think they could do it. Uh, they got a lot of talent on this offensive side. And they got, you, you know, they got McCourty there on the defensive side, too. They got a lot of good talent on this team. And they may sneak a division ber uh, win or even a playoff berth. I think they could at least make the playoffs. You know, that's how good this team is. But, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to improve ourselves. You know, Mariota's getting ready. Murray's getting ready. Stafford and Abdullah are getting ready. Let's get this game underway from Ford Field as the home opener is underway as this one's going to be reaching the uh, about seven yards deep into the end zone as Harry Douglas is going to take that to a knee. And here comes your boy Marcus Mariota, the number two overall draft pick from the 2015 draft from Oregon. He was a duck and a Heisman Trophy winner. Um, so we got our hands full today as he did a pretty good job last week. Had three touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, but let's see how well he does today against this uh, Detroit defense. You got Levy there in the uh, in the linebackers, and you also got um, you know a pretty decent secondary, a good defensive line, and they got our they, they got their hands full today as well. Let's see how well we can game plan, or how both teams game plan, for, as a matter of fact. So we got first and ten here for Tennessee. Marietta over the middle to Matthews, and Matthews getting the first down. Marietta completes his first pass of the day for a gain of ten. And a first down. So second down and eight here for the Tennessee Titans. Murray in the backfield alongside of Mariota. Mariota drops back. Looking over the middle. It's right. And what a... He tried to spin away from that one. It ain't going to happen too much. You know, he ain't going to get that very often. But it's still a first down nonetheless as Quinn makes the tackle there. And it's now second and 12 here for the Titans. They're driving the ball fairly steadily here on this first drive. They're actually taking their time and, you know, making some pl quality plays. You see... Mariota completes the pass, and that's a touchdown right there. And it's now 7-0 Tennessee as we just had a defensive lapse. No man-to-man -man coverage. It was all zone, and we played it badly. So here comes Matthew Stafford. Had one interception last week, only 168 passing yards, but he did complete over 70% of his passes. But we got to take more chances down the field this game. That's what we're going to do. So we're handing off right here to Riddick, and Riddick gets the first down. Riddick's been doing pretty good so far, pretty solid. And we're not looking for him to carry the load like we did in the Dolphins franchise with Vincent Harvey, but we're looking for him to be productive, and that's all we really want right here. But we fumble the football, and that is going to be taken for a sack, a fumble recovery, and a touchdown for the Titans. It's now 14-0 as uh, Johnson takes that one to the house. So now we're in a bit of a hole here. And that's not what we really wanted to be in. So here's Stafford dropping back, looking left side. It's caught. 
and that is Golden Tate the third. Golden Tate the third for the first down. First and 19, very next, well, not the very next play. We had a penalty that got brought back 10 yards. So first and 19, actually kind of first and 20. We get it off to Golden Tate again. Golden Tate is the man. I'm telling you guys, he is going to be a, quite the huge target this year uh, now that Calvin Johnson is gone. So second down in inches here. Are we going to run the ball? I think we're going to run the ball. Hand it off to Theo Riddick. Riddick gets the first down. And he keeps those chains moving. He's averaging seven yards a carry. I cannot complain. First and ten here. And we're going to hand it off to Riddick again. Riddick is getting quite some production. You know, he's got a big load so far. Five carries, 38 yards. Almost averaging eight yards a carry. My lord. Third and ten here. Stafford drops back. Looks to his, oh, he gets taken down for the sack as Clue comes in there and clogs up the hole and, like, just says, take takes Matthew Stafford down. We're going to go for the field goal right here. But look at this. It's blocked. And my Lord. And it's, it, it the misery just does not end there for the Detroit Lions. Look at Pettigrew. He throws his arms up. He's like, what do we need to do to put some points up on the board? Well, I mean, first we need to get back on offense. And we got to play better. Well, not get our block kicks blocked. You see DeMarco Murray on the very next play. I honestly thought this was honestly a broken play because we stopped DeMarco Murray in his tracks, and he's going to take it for a 68-yard touchdown. Like, I have a problem with that. It's now 21-0 Tennessee and off a broken play from DeMarco Murray. Yes, DeMarco Murray is one of the featured backs in this game. He's a very good running back. Just played in a bad system in Philadelphia last, last year, honestly, if you really want to break it down. Chip Kelly's system was not meant for DeMarco Murray. But that was still a broken play. I felt like we stopped him in his tracks, and he ends up breaking it off. But we get it off to Golden Tate again. He has four catches in this game for 62 yards. And we'll hope it, hopefully he can get a touchdown in this game because that would be really cool. Uh, we get it off to Ebron this time, and he gets flipped over. First down, Detroit Lions. Matthew Stafford, 8 of 11 for 94 yards. We're taking more chances downfield. We're getting our players to go on these drag routes, and it's working out to to perfection look at this other underneath route to Pettigrew Pettigrew taking it down to the 17 yard 18 yard line actually and uh, that's going to be a down player right there for the Titans right there that's a big part of their secondary I think that's Cox and uh, now it's second down and 10 sweep right to Abdullah Abdullah gets some room and he's going to get the first down look at that two carries 12 yards for him and that was actually a pick up 12 so he didn't get anything on that first carry but on third and goal, can we finally get something on the board? We get it off to Riddick. He makes a guy miss in the backfield, and he's going to take it to the house, does a little somersault in, and Riddick gets the Lions on the board. It's now 21-7 to with 4-13 remaining in the first half. Now, can we make a stop, though? Hand off to DeMarco Murray, and Murray gets a lot of running room, and he gets a first down. Seven carries, 95 yards. And outside of that big run he had, he's having a pretty good game nonetheless. So first and 10 here for Mariota and the, 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 the Tennessee Titans. And Mariota getting this one off to Green Beckham. And Green Beckham shredding off some defenders. And he's going to take it down to the 10-yard line as Mariota is perfect so far. 112 yards in that one touchdown he had earlier. And now the, Li the Lions are just playing poor defense. At this point, it's poor defense. It's not even Titans playing good offense. Well, it's a mix of both. Because it's 28-7. to DeMarco Murray gets another touchdown. And it's now just getting ugly. we got to correct this. So we get another completion right here to Anquan Bolden. And Bolden's got nothing but daylight. Can he take it to the house? He's got one man to beat. And he takes it down to the 7-yard line. Matthew Stafford, 12-17. of 17, And that was a 67-yard reception from Anquan Bolden. And now the Lions trying to break this within a two possession game before halftime because we do start off with the ball here in the second half and here is Stafford looking underneath it's Jeremy Curley and Jeremy Curley gets his first touchdown of the season and that's Matthew Stafford's first touchdown pass of the season as well it's 28 14 now we begin the third quarter with some momentum and I like that you know if we're gonna go down we better go down with some momentum on our side to go down in a half you know so here we go over the middle to Ebron as Matthew Stafford scrambles and throws that one on the run. But Ebron does get the first down as Stafford is doing really well this game. And he's got over 200 yards passing, something he didn't do last week, but he's got plenty of it this week. Off to Abdullah, and Abdullah takes it to the 39-yard line. Four carries, 25 yards for Abdullah so far. And we are pretty much in like a hurry, not necessarily hurry up, but we are playing more aggressive here because we want to get back in this game. 
off to Curly again. Man, I actually love how Jeremy Curly plays. You know, I've over the past couple of weeks, I've really liked his game, and you know, he may be a player that's flying under the radar a little bit in this franchise. I think I found my guy. You know, he's I've I've actually really liked him so far. We get it off to Curly again. This guy's been playing so well. He has I think he has six or seven catches or something like that in this game. He's get, he's doing really well or something like that. He's been like I said, he's been spectacular. He's one of those guys who may fly under the radar in this whole uh franchise. We get it off to Robert this time. Roberts gets the first and goal. And now we're one play away from making this a one possession game. Amir Abdullah, have yourself six, and there you go. Now 28-21. And looks like Amir Abdullah is just having himself a pretty good game as well as Theo Riddick. As now we have two rushing touchdowns and a passing touchdown. Matthew Stafford having a really good game. That's the reason why we're still in this game is because of the offense. The defense still needs to pick up the slack, and they have not been doing that. They haven't been able to stop the run all game. We stopped it last week with Frank Gore, but DeMarco Murray, man, he is having himself a ball game. As you see right here, third and five. Mariota dropping back, looking left side. It's incomplete. So we get the ball back in hopes to tie the game. We may make a 21-point lead for the Tennessee Titans just evaporate like that. So hopefully we can make something happen. So Stafford here on third and ten, trying to make something happen. He's going to look deep downfield for Golden Tate, but just could not come up with it. No one in the vicinity of that pass. And that is going to be a three and out. So we begin the fourth quarter down by a touchdown. We still have a chance here at third and 15. Can we make a stop? Mariota dropping back, looking over the middle. That's caught by Dexter McCluster. And McCluster breaking a couple of tackles, getting that first down and keeping the drive alive for the Tennessee Titans. Second and five here for Tennessee. Mariota in the shotgun, dropping back, looking underneath. It is, I think that's Delaney Walker first down. And Delaney Walker, I think that's his first catch of the game. That's really strange, considering how big of a threat he is. Uh, so second down and nine. Can the Titans put up another touchdown and put this game out of reach? Well, we'll see right here. Hand off to DeMarco Murray, and that is very well possible because, you know, DeMarco Murray cannot be stopped in this game for some reason. Then again, you know, he did. In Dallas, he had the, the greatest offensive line, like one of the greatest offensive lines in, like, all of football. And Tennessee is also decent, I guess. But you see right here, we're going deep to Golden Tate again, and this time we complete it. And now Matthew Stafford is almost a 300 yards passing on 20 of 28 passing. Just an amazing day for Golden Tate as well. He's, he got, he's got six catches for 123 yards. As now third and 10, we're looking underneath. It is Jeremy Curley again. This man, like I said, he may be the Devontae Parker of this franchise because this guy is sweet. Four catches, 41 yards for him. So, okay, okay, I was a bit off on his stats, but he's been good this game. So, again, we're looking to try and get another touchdown to bring it within seven, and we do just that with Matthew Stafford's legs. Touchdown, Detroit Lions, 35-28. But now comes the tough part. We have to make a stop. We have to make a stop. We could do it, though. We can. We did it once. That gives us the ability to do it again. I mean, maybe it was just dumb luck. Who knows? But... Second and 10. Mariota looking for the screen pass to DeMarco Murray. Murray breaks a tackle. He has just been unstoppable this game. I did everything right and still paid the price. And Mariota making DeMarco Murray look good. As now it's first and 10 here for the Tennessee Titans. And they're looking to put this game away. As here is the hand. Oh, it's a play action. Mariota looking over the middle of the green. Beckham. And it's another touchdown. As it's now this game is pretty much out of reach. As the Detroit Lions fall to the Tennessee Titans in the home opener. And the final score, Detroit Lions 28, Tennessee Titans 42. As the Tennessee Titans just ran the ball all over the, the Detroit Lions defense. And even passed the ball over all over us too. Uh, I think Marcus Mariota had a perfect quarterback rating. Uh, not to say that Matthew Stafford had a bad game. He had a great game. You know, um, He completed 63% of his passes. Had a touchdown pass. Had over 300 yards passing. Had a great game. Just, just wasn't enough. Defense could not help him out at all today. And the Titans go to 2-0 on the season as the Lions go to 1-1 one and, one and face the Green Bay Packers next week, guys. It's at Lambeau. It's not going to get any easier. This schedule is actually pretty brutal. And uh, we got a lot of it left. We still have 14 games. Our goal is to win eight. And I think we could still do that even with the, you know, 
all, through all the troubles and the difficult schedule and all that, I still think we can win eight games. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button. And also make suggestions for the franchise. Help improve this franchise and make it better for your viewing pleasure. But until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always. And I'm out. Peace.